is back at it tonight tackling special education during their first meeting of the new school year. And KXAN's education reporter Aaron Cargill is live outside the AISD headquarters where board members are about to learn about a revamped program. They are, Robert. I'm told the entire structure of the special education department has changed from the executive director all the way down to teachers on the campus level. This was done to create more collaboration and communication, and really the end goal is to close the gap between special ed students and non-special ed students. I want you to take a look at this large disparity with graduation rates, and AISD tells me this is actually an improvement from years past. In 2013, 2014 and 2015, the four-year graduation rate among special ed students averaged about 68 percent, while non-special ed students were in the high 80s, low 90 percentile. And take a look at the difference in attendance across the board from elementary to middle school to high school. Special ed attendance rates are always lower. And here's a closer look at the disability breakdown in AISD. If you're sitting at home wondering uh, what classifies as special education student. Of the more than 8,000 students in their special ed programs, the majority, almost half, have a learning disability of some type. The next largest category is speech impairment, and that's followed by autism. I spoke to a special education parent tonight. Her eighth grade son is new to AISD this year. She is hopeful the changes will be positive. I've seen a lot of talk and not a lot of action, so I'll be really, really um, curious to see if, if it all actually leads to some, some beneficial change for the students, and I hope it does. You'll hear a lot more from that mother over on KXAN after the Olympics. I'll also hear where uh, she believes special education is lacking across the board. Live at AISD headquarters, Erin Cargill, KXAN News.